right, let's see how to uh, export information from Open Buildings to have this data updated in a pivot table in Excel. So I'm going back to the Open Buildings designer file here, the same model. Now I would like to move to an uh, interior discipline file, the interior uh, master model. I'm choosing the interior discipline because uh, I have um, a schedule with uh, more variation among instances. For example, uh, if I open here, I can choose a retail and shelving. I have uh, a good variation here to to, to show the, the feature of uh, pivot tables in Excel. It's being populated here. So as I mentioned before, when I create um, a new schedule, I can choose more than one catalog type. And in this case, Open Buildings create a new uh, folder here called multi-category schedules. And here is one example of fixtures by fixtures by space that I named this uh, this schedule, and it's gathering data from retail specialty catalog type and from shelving catalog type as well. Okay, here we go. I have a lot of items with uh, some properties like space number, uh, label, instance name, edit description, and another information. To start uh, playing with pivot tables, I will just export my scale without a template. I will take advantage of this example to show how to create a template for your schedules. So I will just simply go here to schedule properties and under the Excel export tab, I check off this Excel template. Uh, I can clean this field uh, also and just say OK. Now I will export to Excel, simply export. OK, it asks me if I want to open the file. Uh, it's saved under my output and schedules folder. I say yes, it opens my, my file in Microsoft Excel. So I will create a pivot table uh, in this file and I will save this file as a template to further use in my, in my work set. I will begin with creating, inserting two or three rows here above to personalize, for example. It could be done in a header, of course, but just put here, uh, for example, a picture of the office that you are working for. Uh, let me go to our folder here and standards layouts i have a bentley picture here i can just put here to customize and have my template just another uh, cell here merge and insert uh, icon for example let me choose uh, let me see let me see uh, home a house, a connected house here, a connected house icon. And I will choose uh, all these uh, columns and, and, and rows uh, as the base of my pivot table. And now I go to insert here in Excel tab, recommended pivot tables. I will choose the first one. I can add it uh, now. It created another worksheet here and I can select my pivot tables and change some some fields here. For example, I would like the columns would be my labels. Uh, I mean, in each column at the same row, I have the spaces, beer, beverages, checkout, and so on. And I would like to have in my rows the ID description of each um, fixtures of, of this uh, building, multi deck, narrow, outdoor table, wine display. And I would like to have instead of uh, area here, I'd like to put the count of the fixtures so I can easily check. For example, let me just uh, check the dry goods 
that seems to have a lot of fixtures, dry goods here, my space. So I just have uh, this space filtered. Let me put uh, just three more. And I can simply uh, see and compare spaces, instances, and the information that I that I that I get from my model from Open Buildings. Uh, now I will use this file as a template for further use and show how to update the the pivot table in Excel. Uh, I will just simply go to File here and Save As. It must be saved as an XLSX or an Excel workbook. And I will name my file as Fixtures by Space Template. And the path should be should be any one, but I will I will put in the location that Open Buildings will directly open in this template when I'm creating a new schedule. That is the data group layouts folder. And I will just save these fixtures by space template, Excel file here. And I will erase or delete all this data because it's just a template. I don't I, I just want the the header and the icons and the pivot table here. And another step, an important step here is to say to Open Builders Designer where to begin to fill the data or the or the or the information. For example, here I can here I can name this cell like start, hit enter here. Okay, now my cell A5 is called start. So I can tell to Open Buildings that my multi-categories worksheet and the A5 or the start cell will be the beginning of my uh, of my data when I export into Excel. I'll just say save here and close this Excel file. Now I'm in Open Buildings uh, again. Let me just change uh, any data here for example let me edit this wine wire display let me put here to easily find later a coffee uh, sorry a wiry instead of i let me put coffee display here i apply to all the reference files okay and now i can export to excel but first let me say to use that template. So I go to Schedule Properties again, and under Excel Exports tab, I choose here Excel Template. And here I choose the path. Here it opens in that Data Group Layouts folder. I choose the template that I've uh, created. I say here Insertion Start Cell. Uh, I can type the name of the worksheet. Mood categories categories and to start at the start cell and uh, update pivot tables on export i keep it checked on here and i say okay i configure it to use that template and to update uh, the pivot tables when i'm exporting okay let's export now I simply go to export Excel. Yes, exported successfully. Do you want to open the file? I say yes. Let's check the result. Okay, uh, here you see I, I have my template usage with my customization. And let's go to the uh, pivot table here. Let me just clear this filter and try to find uh, or oh, it's another edge that I made uh, before. Here I have that instance that I renamed with coffee corner display. It's located in the, let me see, in the wine um, space. So let me filter again here. Let me choose bakery, circulation, dry goods, for example, and wine. Just to check here, I have my wire coffee display and I have the total everything updated from, from my open buildings. Okay. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. 
If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.